when introducing or revising a set of flashcards with the children, use the technique flash. Get the children's attention. Everyone looking this way, please. Are you ready? And then show them the flashcard very fast. Children, identify what's on the flashcard. It's an elephant. Yes, very good. Be ready to remodel or recast if they respond in their first language. An alternative way of doing this is to use the technique slowly, slowly. In this case, cover the flashcard that you're going to use and gradually reveal the picture. Children identify what's on the flashcard as soon as they can recognize it. It's a giraffe. Yes, very good. Do an initial flashcard activity with the children. Stick the flashcards on the board. Get the children to repeat the words. Elephant, giraffe, whale, zebra, ostrich, tiger. This activity is called What's Missing? Ask the children to close their eyes and cover their eyes with their hands. Demonstrate this. Remove one of the flashcards from the board and hide it behind your back. Ask the children to open their eyes and say what's missing. It's the whale. Very good. Play magic eyes. Stick the flashcards that you're going to use in a row on the board. Six is a good number to use, as this is within the number that children can retain in their short-term memory. Get the children to repeat the words with you in a rhythmic way. So, zebra, tiger, elephant, ostrich, whale, giraffe. And zebra, tiger, elephant, ostrich, whale, giraffe. When you think the children are doing this confidently, remove the first flashcard and continue in the same way. Zebra, tiger, elephant, ostrich, whale, giraffe. Zebra, tiger, elephant, ostrich, whale, giraffe. Remove the second flashcard in the same way and repeat the sequence with the children again. Can you do any more? Yes, we can. Remove the next one. Zebra, tiger, elephant, ostrich, whale, giraffe. Now, in a little simple activity like that, you're helping to train children's memory. Children, you're encouraging children to have a visual representation of the image and to associate it with the word. Do a lip reading activity. Stick the flashcards on the board. Get the children's attention. Everybody looking this way, please. Are you ready? I'm going to say one of the words and I want you to tell me what it is. Are you ready? Elephant! Very good! With a little activity like that, you're actually giving children a strategy which is very helpful when you're learning a foreign language. Because if you look at people's lips when they speak, it can help you understand what they say. Make up little flashcard riddles using other language and vocabulary that's familiar to the children. For example, it's big and grey, it's got a trunk and a tail. What is it? The elephant! Very good! What about this one? It's got black and orange stripes. It's very fierce. What is it? The tiger! Very good. In an activity like this, you're putting the lexis the children are learning in a context of other language they already know. Use the flashcards to play an action game. I call this one flashcard groups. Divide the class into groups of three to five 
children. Assign each group a flashcard. For example, group one, your giraffes. Group two, your ostriches. Group three, your whales, and so on. Give the groups instructions in the following way. For example, touch your nose, tigers. Wave your hands, ostriches. Put your hands on your head, elephants. When you give instructions, it's important to say the instruction first and the flashcard second. In this way, the children will keep listening until they know whether the instruction applies to their group. You can also increase or decrease the level of challenge depending on whether you do the action yourself as well or not. For example, if you touch your nose, it's much easier for the children to follow than when you don't. Another action game with flashcards I call hands on heads. In this activity, divide the class into two teams. In the team on this side of the classroom, assign them three or more flashcards. The team on the other side of the classroom, assign three or more different flashcards. The activity works in the following way. Children listen out for the words that belong to their team and respond by putting their hands on their heads. So are we ready? For example, tiger, giraffe, elephant, whale, and so on. As children gain in confidence in responding, you can speed up how fast you say the words. The two activities, flashcard groups and hands on heads, give children an opportunity for moving. <music> Flashcards are also useful for practicing simple interaction patterns. In this activity called flashcard chains, ask the children to sit or stand in a circle with you. Have the flashcards you're going to use ready for the activity. Use the first one by passing it to the child on your left and asking the relevant question. For example, do you like zebras? The child responds, yes I do or no I don't and passes the flashcard to the child next to them in the circle and asks the question in the same way. When the flashcard you first introduce is about three children away from you, introduce the next flashcard to the child on your left in the same way. Do you like tigers? The child again responds, yes I do or no I don't and asks the child next to them, passing the flashcard round the circle in the same way. When all the flashcards you're using in the activity have gone round the circle and back to you, the activity ends. This activity provides children with multiple opportunities to practice the language they're learning. Flashcards can be useful to revise vocabulary from several different lexical sets. In this activity called Kim's Game, stick 12 to 15 flashcards from different lexical sets on the board. Explain to the children that you're going to give them one minute to look and remember all the flashcards that are there. Make sure that the children are silent during this time and that they all have their pens down. Say, are you ready? Go when you're ready to time them. After a minute, say stop and remove the flashcards from the board. Once you've taken the flashcards off the board, ask the children to work with a partner and write down as many of the words as they can remember. Check the answers and if you like, children can also categorise or classify the cards. For example, these are animals, 
these are clothes, these are toys, these are food. It's up to you whether you choose to focus on the spelling, and if you do, as an alternative option, you may like to use word cards instead of, or as well as, the flashcards. Flashcards provide a flexible and enjoyable resource for teaching vocabulary in the primary classroom.